Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we are looking at Moon Knight number 60, the final issue of his series from 1994, a final phase on the cover, this cover, and it's illustrated by the amazing Stephen Platt, who was introduced to comics via uh, Moon Knight. I think Moon Knight was his first work in comics with issue like 55 or something like that. Um, and just selling like gangbusters and it was slated to be canceled anyway, I believe. So like it didn't really save the book. And then of course, Rob Liefeld would steal him for profit. I would have loved to seen uh, Stephen Platt do a lot more with Marvel, like Wolverine, Punisher, just like all those kinds of characters. You know, his stuff on profit was beautiful, but I don't know, you know, who cares about profit? I mean, a lot of people do, I'm sure. But anyway, this cover is just gorgeous. And this is like a period in the 90s where they're using a lot of gimmicks. And I guess you could call this a gimmick in a way. Like, I'm surprised it's not glow in the dark. But the stark black and white contrast with all the amazing little detailing Stephen Platt puts in his art is just truly beautiful. I feel like we were kind of robbed of Stephen Platt. And this happens like Joe Mad. Stephen Platt, like a lot of uh, comic artists, get their start in comics and then leave to do storyboards or for Hollywood, <clears throat> Hollywood, anyway, or uh, design video games. And I think he did one or the other, but we miss you, Stephen Platt. I know he, I feel like he's done a few covers and stuff recently, so it would be fun to see him come back. He's obviously influenced by the image generation, I feel. I feel like there's so much influence, like, going on in his art, um, but it's still so uniquely of himself. Like, I see some Jim Lee, I see some Art Adams, I see a little Rob Liefeld, um, probably what maybe made Rob, you know, pick him up and put him to work. But this is just amazing. Like, this is, I don't know, he just, like, puts 190%. Oh, it's funny, because this is usually when I'm doing an Image Comics review. Um, <clears throat> I say this is the inevitable point when we turn the book sideways, because there was always some sideways double-page spread or something in the 90s Image comic books. Um, but this is just freaking gorgeous. I don't know, the coloring makes it a little confusing. I feel like there might have been a different approach to the coloring that might have been better. Um, but what do I know? I know a lot, actually. Terry Cavanaugh, writer, Stephen Platt, artist, Michael Higgins, letterer, Ovi Hondru, colorist, Sarah Mossoff, editor, and Tom DeFalco, chief. Dedicated to Doug Mench, Don Perlin, and Bill Sankiewicz, the forefathers of Moon Knight. You know, it's funny, Moon Knight uh, definitely has uh, had a lot of great art over the years. I remember, um, uh, you know, of course, Bill Sienkiewicz, uh, just like totally revolutionary stuff on Moon Knight. Nobody was doing what he was doing and just pushing it to the nth degree. And then we had like the Fist of Khonshu that was illustrated by Chris Warner and his pencils are amazing. I love his art. <clears throat> And then we have Stephen Platt. I love the erect nipples, just totally showing through the costume. I mean, that is that is attention to detail right there. And the way he does his hatching and like underlighting and stuff, just like truly amazing stuff. I mean, clearly influenced by Jim Lee a little bit right here, but also like a little bit of the quirkiness and the fine, fine line of like Todd McFarlane. Very cool, we get to see like an alien brood pop in for no reason. I'm sure there's a reason. Interesting. You know, you just want to get a page done when you're doing like all this black and then like uh, just the like silhouettes, the building. I kind of love how you can see like the line tapering off. Like you can tell, see his actual pen marks where they end or overlap. That's kind of fun. I mean, hello, Stephen Platt. <clears throat> Pardon me, IDW. Moon Knight Artist Edition, Where Are You? Fun 90s ad. Hi, see Fruit Punch. Here's your box of sugar, kids. Have fun with it. Type 2, coming your way. Beautiful, beautiful art. I just love, like, this is a very talented young artist. And I hate to say this, but that is definitely giving uh, Nightwing a run for his money when it comes to best superhero butts. 
that is Kanshu's ass America right there because uh, that is uh, some nice cakes for you. It's funny, I guess that you can see the deadline approaching. Some of the pages are like totally like just bathed in detail and glorious like fine lines and amazement. And then some, some are a little more dependent on silhouettes and tricks like that. Although I have to give props, like if you're gonna do silhouettes and you're like this sort of fine line art with all the horizontal lines, it's really cool. I mean, it's no wonder why people love Stephen Platt. I mean, even if you're not like particularly fond of like the quote unquote image style, although I don't know why you wouldn't be because like it's such a great era in comics and for better or worse, like revolutionized uh, the industry in a lot of ways. Did it usher in the collapse? Perhaps, but it is what it is. Here we go with some of the Egyptian stuff happening here. See, I'm really wanting to see this color differently or maybe just print it differently because uh, the art is just so beautiful. I mean, that's freaking amazing. Oh, the one thing I didn't point out that I wanted to point out, and I felt this way even like initially getting it. Um, I love the way he draws the emblem, the moon crescent on his belt. First of all, it's big as hell, like a freaking heavyweight champion belt. But the way he shades it, it almost creates this optical illusion of depth where it looks like it's sort of like 3D in a way. And it's an optical illusion in the fact that if you look at it with your left brain, it looks like it's receding. If you look at it with your right brain, it looks like it's protruding. Try that out and spark a blunt while you're at it. Maybe that would help too. Oh my God, I love that. What a great face. His shading is just like magical. It's funny because I'm like, especially in my own art, I strive for, <laughs> I guess more of a t an Alex Toth kind of, you know, simplistic, like using blacks and just shapes and just simplifying and streamlining just because it's aesthetically appealing to me. But damn, I love me some gagging detail, like just total detail all over the place. I mean, it, you just look at stuff, art like this, and you can't help but think this is an artist who just loves to draw. I mean, he is just definitely giving it his all. And props to him for that, you know what I mean? I feel like, especially if you are if you have the chance to work for Marvel or DC, I feel like the pressure, <laughs> I, it would be so spectacular. I would just wanna make it kick ass as much as I possibly could. I mean, hello, IDW once again. I know you guys watch my channel too. We need that artist edition because to see this like at actual size without the color, like just all this insane detailing and that musculature and the figure just like leaping across the double page spread. And then once again, re I mean, this is how you do a freaking double page spread. That is gorgeous. I'm in love. That's what I also love about revisiting these old comics is like really inspires me because it's just like this is the stuff that I loved growing up and it is so cool and it is such fun and happy joyous memories to revisit it oh no say it isn't so say he isn't dead it's the Marvel Universe even if he is he won't be dead for long so don't you worry about it eternal champions hmm was this a video game Gosh, well, I wasn't into video games. Just Although I did love Sonic the Hedgehog, but of course it's like anything simple and like, you know, taking no real coordination or skill. Because I lack in both, especially when it comes to video games. Man, this art is gorgeous. I love Steven Platt. This is some beautiful stuff. It really is. And that was that. I mean, too bad. I think they realized too late that the sales were so awesome that they could have kept going, but I don't know. Stephen Platt, what a way to end. What a beautiful page. Anyway, love this book. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later.